Hi, my name is Paul and this is Margaret. Margaret is 46 years old, comes to us this morning with um, significant loss of strength in the left arm and some pain in the upper trapezius uh, region on the left side. Approximately a week and a half ago, she was doing a lot of gardening, working outside, uh, lifting, pushing, pulling, that type of thing, and just uh, developed some neck pain that night. Um, soon after that, about three to four days ago, developed a considerable amount of weakness in the arm. So what I'm going to do today is just a brief evaluation. I've already completely evaluated her and given her some direction, but I want to show you how significant this weakness is. Um, so the first thing I'd like to ask you to do, Margaret, is lift your arm straight up overhead for me as far as you can. Okay, so that's all the flexion she has. Can you lift your arms out to the side? So her deltoids are extremely weak. All right. And can you hold the arm here? hand up like that. Don't let me push it down. So I'm using two fingers and I can easily collapse her. Hold your hand right here. Don't let me turn it in. Hold, hold, hold. Okay, so those are all myotomes of C5. Okay, so we're going to check C6 by extending her wrist. Hold your wrist up here. Don't let me push it down. Good, that's excellent. Don't let me bend your elbow. C7. Excellent. Spread your fingers. Don't let me squeeze them together. T1, she has nice resistance there. And can you do the OK sign like this and don't let me open it up? C8. Okay, so that looks good. Can you shrug your shoulders? C3, C4, hold it there. No problem, all right? With this amount of weakness, my next question was, have you had shingles or a virus recently? Or a severe amount of pain in the shoulder that's lasted a week to two weeks, which would be a sign of Parsonage Turner syndrome, but she hasn't had any of those. I took a look at her back, no pustules or anything to indicate shingles. Um, she has a negative cervical spine compression test and some slight discomfort in the left side of her neck when I do a Spurlings test when I rotate her this way. But not a lot of referred pain down the arm. Uh, when I check her reflexes, C5 on this side. I'm going to switch over like this. Looking good. C6. C5 here. Nothing. C6. Very, very little. But C5 is really dramatically lost. Does this feel the same or different? Different. Different in what way? This one's like less. Okay, we're going to have the hands up like this. That was C5. C6, same or different? A little bit different. But you've also had an injury to this thumb, okay? Right. She's cut this uh, this thumb with a chainsaw. Um, now how about the back of the middle, uh, middle finger? About the same. About the same, that's C7. Over here. About the same. C8 and T1. About the same. About the same, okay, good. So. She has what I believe is a severe neurologic compromise at the C5 nerve root level. Now, the C5 nerve root is the wimpiest nerve root in the cervical spine, so what we are going to do is expedite an MRI, and um, it is my thought that she'll probably require some uh, neurosurgery uh, really quickly here, um, just because if we don't get pressure off that nerve, she could um, sustain some long-term nerve damage in the arm. We've tried tractioning her neck, and it does not change her symptoms whatsoever. Um, which is even more concerning. So uh, we're going to press this along and um, we will go from there.